Hello, this is Matthew Miller with the ZDNet Mobile Gadget here again. I'm now going to run through um, as much as I can of the TouchFlow 3D elements on the uh, the home screen area. So to start off with, as you can see here, there's a large clock. It's kind of the flip number clock, and as we're as I'm talking here, we may see it switch to uh, 2346. Uh, you can tap on your call history and you can also see that I have a voicemail so it says new voicemail and um, let's see if the clock is going to switch if not let's just go ahead and go to the, you can also scroll up and it shows you some of your upcoming appointments Okay, back and forth so that's just the home now if I take my finger and at the bottom you can see that you can access your phone or your programs and there it switches to 46 so I can take my finger, hold on it, and then go across. And let's go to the first one, which is people. So as we see here in people, just for this demonstration, I've set up some of my contacts, which are the small icons over here on the right side. And if you push the plus, you can add uh, people from your list. And I can take my finger and go up and down and see the different people in my contact list. And as you can see, it's very responsive. So I could, and then I could uh, tap on that person, see the details of that person, last call, that kind of thing. And if I tap right here on this little arrow key, it actually dials that person. And there's some of the in-call features. Um, you can also tap uh, note, or if you remove the stylus from the stylus slot, you can quickly add a note to that conversation. Okay. Let's just end that call and go back home. So that's people. So now let's uh, tap my finger. People, the next one over is messages, which are your text messages. As you can see, my daughter is forwarding me a bunch of junk. And uh, there's one text message, the latest one. If I tap on the little arrow on the right, I can go through some of my other text messages. And as you can see, it has some animations when those text messages just goes back and forth and then if you tap up here you can create a new text message at the bottom they also have other menus that get you into Windows Mobile such as on this one all messages and menu if you tap menu new reply delete okay that's messages let's move on to mail which is your email and as you can see this envelope here is my actual email that text there dynamically changes with my emails and as you can see right now I have five new ones since I last uh, active synced if I was to come over here to this mail icon and scroll down it moves to the next email message I scroll up it goes to the previous right here I can create a message I can tap there and go to my Windows Mobile inbox on the left soft key on the right soft key there's a menu it says new mail accounts send to receive Kind of, it's very cool that the message actually, the actual text of the real message appears right here. You can also um, tap on that message and it goes into uh, Windows Mobile messaging. Okay, let's go over to email or internet. And I, by default, it says launch browser, and that's the Opera Mobile 9.5 browser. I'm not sure if that can be changed, but there's absolutely no reason you, why you'd want to. I will get into the browser and the YouTube um, things a little bit later because um, I just don't have enough time in this short video to show all that and if we just to scroll up we can scroll through our uh, our bookmarks that we've added okay and that's internet and we'll get into that a little bit later the details next one is photos and video as you can see here here's one of the last pictures I took uh, in my yard and again, we can just tap on these and quickly go through the different photos and videos, or you can scroll with your finger and quickly bounce between the photos that you might have taken and the videos as well. As you can see, this one right here has a little movie clip around it. If you tap on this top icon, you're taken to the camera application, which I will show again in another video. And also if you tap on here is the video application. You can also tap for your albums or a slideshow of your pictures. And we'll go into more details of the photos and videos in another video. Music. Okay. 
Now I haven't loaded any music on here, but there was some preloaded on the 4 gig flash drive. So as you can see, here's your music. And let's see, I haven't played a whole lot with the music. Let's go back. I just switched the wrong thing. So now let's see if I go up and down. Yeah, it says I go up and down with my finger. I can switch between the different music, and as you'll see, the album covers are switching. You can, uh, I believe if you tap here, you can go up and down as well. And you can push play to play a song. It shows, shows the status along the bottom. You see that's a 26 minute song there. There's also a library and another context sensitive menu. Repeat off, shuffle off, properties, add to playlist, and audio booster. Okay, let's go over to the next one. It's just weather. Now, let's see. In Tacoma, it's mostly cloudy, right? We can switch to a bunch of different locations that we set up. And let's see, I'm trying to find, see if any of them that I set up happen to be rainy areas. They don't right now because the rain is a cool animation. Um, so that's the today. Let me just uh, quickly go to menu, add, remove, update now, Celsius or settings. Let me just quickly add a location. And let's see. The one thing about the location is you're not able to quickly uh, like type in U for United States or something. You actually have to scroll up and down to get to the location. But it's not like something that you're going to do all the time. You'll set up a couple locations and then you'll check the status. Let's just go, let's see, where in the U.S. will it be raining? Hmm, I'm not sure exactly. Let's try Baltimore. Nope, it's cloudy there too. Oh, it's clear. <laughs> I just wanted to show the rain, so we'll just uh, look. At well, it took me a few minutes, but I finally found some locations with some interesting weather. There's Seattle, there's Tacoma, and on the VGA screen this is absolutely beautiful. Anchorage, Alaska, Singapore, there's some snow in Nuke, Greenland, there's some fog in Bruxelles, and some rain in San Jose. You see that? They've got the windshield wiper on there. So it looks like uh, when you go to rain, it looks like raindrops are on your screen. That animation show get washed off. And if we look at the five day, it'll also show you um, highs and lows and kind of what to expect. So weather is a very cool uh, animated application. Let's go to settings. I tap on the sounds. Silent automatic of your sound. Wallpaper. And there's the selection of wallpaper that's on board. Um, when you first get the device, you can also add your own custom wallpapers. Here's the communications manager. As you can see, airplane mode, and they got phone, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, direct push, data connections. And then data, if you tap on that, it'll um, update the weather. Okay. And our last TouchFlow 3D home icon is for programs. And as you can see here, here's some of them that are preloaded. If I was to tap on plus, I could easily through the list of programs that are loaded and select an icon to appear on that uh, quick launcher of the programs. So that's a look at the TouchFlow 3D. And as you can see, it is quite responsive. I just grab my finger, drag across to where I want to be, and then lift up and it will go back to that uh, selected location. So there you go, TouchFlow 3D.